Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Lucy Ling. Hello, do you do script writing commissions? Am I allowed to use it on my Gumroad? And how much is it if you do? My commission form has all the information. Note, I will not do non-con, rape, age play, violence, etc. You are free to use my script in public posts or behind paywalls as long as I am credited, unless you pay a non-disclosure fee. Can you just write the script for $20? It is just jock fucking a nerd, so it should be easy. You can calculate the price of the script using my form. $20 is about 330 words, which will last approximately 5 minutes. Can you do a 20 minute script for 25? 6 cents per word seems really high and 25 seems fair and I can shout you out for exposure. Your scripts are really good. If their scripts are really good, then why don't you pay them to do the job that you're asking them to do? Write your script. You'd think if it was that good, it would be worth paying for. This next one is by Lavinin. Illustrator to illustrate alphabets and numbers in a vintage retro handwritten style. Fixed price, intermediate, estimated budget $8. Looking for an illustrator who is good at lettering, more specifically, in a vintage, retro handwritten style, to create 108 characters. Basically alphabets from A to Z, uppercase and lowercase, and numbers from 0 to 9, and some additional characters and punctuation in PNG format, transparent background similar to the style attached below. 26 characters in lowercase, 26 characters in uppercase, 26 characters in lowercase in a different style, 10 character numbers from 1 to 10, punctuation characters, see the example attached below. Please answer the following questions. Tell me how much time do you need to create all of them? Please show me some of your previous work that's related to this gig. Which software do you use to create illustrations? Do you acknowledge that the whole project budget is $8? For $8, you'll probably be lucky to find somebody do two or three of those for you, but hey, you know, I'm being optimistic there as well. The amount of work that you want for $8 just isn't going to cut it. This next one is from Big Nerd and Loving It. $200, High Boy E Skateboard, Pickup Only. Trade for Xbox One S. I'm not really into games, I'm just looking for cash. Sense pick, sell it. No thank you, you are still welcome to buy the board though. What about for two camera lens? I'm not really interested in trading. Please? After your first inquiry, they let you know they were looking for cash, not a trade. Why you would continue to still try to trade things in general is beyond me. But trying to delve into the mind of a choosing beggar is somewhere nobody wants to be. This next one is by Osmataz Buckshank. Wish I had taken a screenshot before it disappeared. I ordered Postmates the other day in Anchorage and left a 20% tip. The order was for about $40, including all the fees. It was a simple bag of fast food. The driver messaged me. I need money for my kids if you want to adjust the tip. <laughs> I legit thought I had accidentally tipped 0 or 10%. Anyone ever had this experience? I don't know anyone personally who's had that experience, but I have read a story not too long ago about another food delivery driver asking for more money after the fact. This next one is from Gun Shorts. Choosing Beggar constantly comments on my YouTube videos insisting it's my responsibility to publish my content in Spanish. Translated from Spanish. I like the video. Too bad I don't understand anything it says because it's in English. They should show it in Spanish, but it seems that they don't give me balls. Don't forget that the majority who watch these programs are people who understand this. And if we watch it, it's because we understand some of this. And you have the obligation to translate it into Spanish. 
That's like saying I should also translate all of my videos into Spanish or whatever other language a choosing beggar would want, but the catch is, in my case, I don't speak another language. I'm not sure if the same applies to the OP. But regardless, you're not obligated to do anything for a sole person when you upload content. This next one is by Koshiro888. Job Description Attention, this is an unpaid internship. Django experience of at least two years is required. Please don't apply otherwise. At Femi Space, we strive to be the best and give our best every day. We are passionate about learning and cultivating an environment of safety, honesty, and mutual respect. We are a family where everyone has a voice and plays an essential role in our overall success and the success of our drivers. We aspire to improve health of millions of women around the globe. Be a part of something bigger. Be a part of the future, number one integrative and truly personalized health management platform. Be a part of Femi Space Vision. Job responsibilities, what you will do. Part of the team that develops in an agile project environment. Work with development team and product manager to ideate software solutions. Design client-side and server-side architecture. Develop and manage well-functioning applications. Test software to ensure efficiency and responsiveness. Qualifications, what you need to bring. Previous experience in a front-end language, JavaScript, CSS, HTML, etc. required. Lambda, S3, RDS, CloudFormation, Aurora, Redshift is a plus. Experience working with streaming data and data extraction from different databases, Oracle, DB2, NoSQL database. Experience working on Python and Django. Experience working with understanding of data engineering, real-time streaming and or eventing, and JSON parsing. Experience building microservices and API architecture. Debugging skills preferred. Must be flexible and have a passion to learn and collaborate with colleagues. Must have strong oral and written communication skills. Business intelligence analytics experience is a plus. Bachelor's or preferably master in computer science or related field. Or equivalent combination of education and or experience required. Must possess excellent interpersonal skills must be able to prioritize and plan work activities appropriately, must be able to multitask, must be able to collaborate with others. And I'm sure that list goes on and on about things you must possess. It's amazing how you need to possess all of the qualifications and skills that normally a person that would, you know, possess all of that would be paid, but they just want to give you an unpaid internship. I would say I wish them luck finding somebody, but I really don't. And our final one is from Bluebird XYZ. So, I've been playing guitar for quite some time now, and I am very passionate about it. During my years in college, I purchased a cheap and old guitar from someone so I could keep it and play it in my dorm room, as I didn't want to bring any of my good guitars in there. After I finished college, I moved back home and the guitar started gathering dust. And honestly, I really didn't want to put any more money and effort into maintaining it, so I decided to give it away. I made a post on Facebook in a group that we use as Craigslist, and within some minutes I was messaged by a choosing beggar who told me he was interested into getting the guitar for his daughter who had just started learning. We agreed to meet at my place so they could pick it up. Choosing beggar arrived at my house along with his daughter, which I thought it was weird as they were just coming to pick it up. And I invited them in and showed them the guitar, which I was giving away, along with its cheap nylon bag. And the conversation went a little bit like this. Oh well, why are the strings so old in this? Yeah, it's been a while that I haven't changed the strings. This is a guitar I have used as my practice guitar for some time, and I decided to give it away, as it's of no need to me. That's not nice. I'm not getting my daughter a guitar that is not new. At least change the strings and clean the fretboard. 
The real reason I am giving it away is because I did not use the guitar anymore and didn't want to put more effort into maintaining it, and I didn't want it to gather dust and go to waste. But whatever, you can go buy a set of new strings and I'll be more than happy to change them for free and also clean the fretboard. Buddy, I'm not paying for anything. You're the one who should be paying. I can't afford new strings now. I am struggling economically, and I don't have the money to spend on such things. He then sees one of my good guitars that was on a stand in the room we were just in and says, What about that one? Can you give us this one? We really need a new guitar. Of course not. That is the guitar I use personally, and I'm not giving, neither giving it away, nor selling it. If you can't pay for basic things for the guitar such as strings, I don't really think you need a new guitar. The guitar is in good working condition, even the strings it has on it have life in them, so it will be great for lessons and practice. No, we are leaving. I will report you for false advertising and let everyone know that you ruined my little girl's dream. He then took his daughter and left. It's worth mentioning that his daughter was really happy to just have the guitar I was about to give her and was blushing in embarrassment during the entire conversation. Just to make it clear, I mentioned it also on the post that the guitar is used, not new. Unfortunately, even when you try to do a good deed such as this, you're going to have the choosing beggars that it's just not good enough. They want more, they need more, because that's just the nature of being a choosing beggar. I do feel bad his daughter missed out on a guitar because of his attitude, though. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. And drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.